Hello, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading, but it's really a pick a number reading um, for what's going to be happening in 2021 for you. So you can choose a number between one and four. You can choose multiple numbers. You can choose just one number. However you want to choose it is fine with me. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to get some general messages for those numbers and what's going to be happening in 2021. So let's see, we're going to start with number one, obviously. So number one, what's going to be happening for those that chose number one ooh, in 2021? What's going to be coming up for them? One more. What can group one expect from 2021? What's happening for group one in 2021? Ooh, good. Oh, wow. Father of Pentacles and the Mother of Pentacles. Okay, so some sort of committed connection going on here, some sort of commitment going on. These are um, a perfect match for each other. Um, they're very committed people. This could be someone that you're going to have children with or that you're going to have a family with. You're going to be nurturing a family with. You also could be having a business with this person. Um, this is a committed relationship. Show me more. Show me more. But what's coming for group one in 2021? Oof, gosh, we have the devil. Okay, so this is someone that's, um, you guys are like obsessed with each other or you're very close, you're, you're kind of attached to each other, you spend a lot of time together, or you're going to be. Okay, there might be a little bit of, a, bit of attachment growing with the Father of Pentacles and the Mother of Pentacles. Okay, there could be something about the sign Capricorn. There's a lot of Earth energy here. Show me more. Um, there's a connection that's group number one is going to be going into that's going to be highlighting a lot of um, the shadowy aspects within each other. Um, six of Wands. There's something that someone's having public success with. So somebody's either going to be in a public relationship that's very successful or somebody has some sort of public business that ends up very successful. Someone could be making a lot of money in 2021 um, with their business or it's if someone's like a, an influencer of some kind or something with social media. Show me more of what was happening for group number one in 2021. There's a transformation that's public that someone's going through. The Empress. Lots of abundance. Um, there also could be something about um, becoming a mother or a parent of some kind. Also something about a glow up too. Lots of abundance being created. I'm feeling like the father and the mother of Pentacles are very well off. Show me more. What's happening for group number one in 2021? The hermit, some yeah, some personal understanding. Definitely some things that internally that have been kept hidden um, from the world, from the Father of Pentacles and the Mother of Pentacles. Both, both of them are like going deeper. Like they're they're understanding themselves on a deeper level. Things that were in the shadows are coming out to be um, recognized. some deep understanding of oneself. Um, there also could be some something that someone's learning new, like some someone's learning new information, someone's studying something new. All right, what else for group number one? What else for group number one? Father of Wands. So there's some really attractive masculine energy here. Um, there could be a lot of um, attention being put on a masculine energy. 
There could be something with a masculine energy working with the sacral chakra. This year, clearing something with the sacral chakra. Somebody, um, somebody's taking action on their dreams in 2021, and it's a public success. Somebody looks really good to the public. Somebody's like the leader of a passion project where they're leading their themselves like to develop something or to create something, to start a business or something like that. There's action being taken on a passion. Somebody's taking like the leadership role in that. Somebody's really confident and like willing to take action towards something. Okay, what else is coming of 2021 for this one? Ace of Pentacles, a physical manifestation of something. Lots of like Pentacle energy too, so there's definitely some money involved here. There's stability with the Father of Pentacles and the Mother of Pentacles. Um, somebody could be good with their masculine and feminine energy too. Um, Alright, so what's the main theme for group number one um, of 2021? What's going to be the main theme of 2021 for group number one? What's going to be the main theme, main events, main thing happening in 2021 for group number one? The Hierophant, yeah, there's definitely some commitment that someone's going into, a long-term commitment too. It's not something that you can very easily back out of, like a marriage or something long-term, um, a commitment. Also, there could be something about a spiritual journey progressing. Um, there could be something, like, there's counterparts in for group number one, there, whatever, whoever, whatever counterparts these are. There's some divine counterparts that... Um, they're really illuminating an aspect of you for you um, and vice versa so it's really revealing it's revealing a lot like someone's realizing a lot about themselves realizing a lot about their counterpart um, yeah there's definitely some purging going on because of that a commitment and being committed to yourself too Okay, awesome. That's group number one. Alright, so let's move on to number two. Group number two. Oh, actually, I'm into... Group number two. What's coming in 2021 for group number two? Okay, so what can group number two expect from 2021? What's happening in 2021 for group two? Five of Cups. Okay, some purging. There could be some sadness, some releasing things that you feel you've lost. Okay, show me more. Or someone is someone has lost you and they're releasing it. Um, show me more about 2021 for group number two. Show me more about 2021. The Hanged Man. Okay, so there's some like um, sad situation that ends up being quite the catalyst for spiritual awakening. Um, somebody's understanding things, seeing things more clearly. Somebody's like being also, in, someone's being held in one place, kind of in a stagnant place um, for a little bit because um, somebody's going through spiritual awakening. There's purging and there's a transitional period that's happening. Okay, show me more about 2021 for group number two. Father of Cups. Okay, so this there could be something about the sign Pisces here, um, or Cancer or Scorpio, but we have the Hanged Man here for Pisces. Um, so there is some, like, either there's a masculine energy that you're involved with, or that you are, that... Um, had an it wasn't it wasn't able to fully connect to their emotions or had an issue with feeling their emotions, acknowledging their emotions. Somebody um, in 2021 either has a counterpart or is going to be kind of stagnant and kind of sad for a while, so that they can um, 
get on their spiritual awakening. That's what I want to say. Show me more. What about 2021 for group number two? Ah, oh, three of swords. Yeah, it's gonna. It's kind of a rough year either for someone that you're connected with. It's it's because of the purging. There's something. There's heartbreak that's needing to be purged. There's sadness that's needing to be purged. There's the feelings of loss of someone that's needing to be purged. So number three, though, so this is a catalyst. This is a, this is creating a change in someone's cycle. All right, what else can group number two expect in 2021? There could be someone that finally gets over someone. Show me more about 2021 for group number two. Oh my goodness, group two. What the heck? Five of Pentacles. Somebody's dealing with some major loss in 2021. Somebody's finally dealing with a loss that they never dealt with or somebody's finally like releasing something that they were needing to release and there's sadness with it and it's difficult and it kind of makes someone feel like they're stuck somewhere but it's all for a greater purpose. Show me more, please. About 2021, there might be some money issues in 2021. And this could be someone that you're connected with as well. There could be a divine masculine that you're connected with, or this is about your divine masculine energy. Um, Son of Pentacles. Yeah, things are moving slowly. Things are moving, though, but things are moving slowly. Things are going to take time. All right, show me more about 2021 for group number two. Show me more about 2021 for group number two. Ten of Swords. <laughs> yeah, there's an ending that's kind of been like, it's been postponed. Like somebody tried to not end something or tried to keep staying in something. It, it finally has to end in 2021. It finally has to get purged. Or someone has a counterpart that's like, in some dark stuff in 2021. This is this is definitely pretty rough. Okay, show me more about 2021 for number two. Oh goodness. We have the magician. Awesome. The, but that's the thing, is like this is finally connecting someone with with an ability of theirs. There could be something with the emotions. Um, and like block chakras and lack of alignment that was like stopping someone from manifesting positive things. Someone could be realizing that they're manifesting more of this darkness in 2021. Someone's finally being made aware of these abilities, the fact that there's manifesting. Someone is being brought all the way down so that they can um, come back up the right way is what I want to say. Someone's going to learn how to manifest. Someone's going to realize that they have certain spiritual abilities. Somebody's going to realize why they have so many money issues in 2021, and it's because of a mindset that someone has um, subconsciously, consciously. It's like a, an idea of... Someone, someone feel, someone is purging their like internal like feelings that they're not worthy of abundance or like abundance of money, abundance of physical things, and abundance of love. Somebody is um, dealing with the fact that they have not felt worthy of things that they want. Okay. Okay. So, um, what is going to be the some of the biggest themes of twenty twenty one for group number two? Um, what other things can we make group number two aware of when it comes to 2021? We have the world. It is, it is shifting. It is turning. It is going to be a new cycle. There is a transitional period, though. So there is 2021 is about a shift for you. Um, show me more. Or about someone that you're connected with. Big shift in reality with the world coming out here as one of your biggest themes. 
the star, major healing, recognizing certain abilities that you have to, recognizing your own greatness, recognizing that you are worthy. There's a lot of healing that's happening in 2021, regardless of the amount of pain that's also felt. Um, it's all, it's being felt because it needs to be felt. It needs to be recognized and released, purged, realized, so that someone can be cleansed of these things. Um, that was, it was just kind of creating darkness. And this could be something that's coming from 2020. It's progressing into 2021. Some sadness, feelings of lack or feeling unworthy of love, feeling heartbroken, feeling backstabbed, feeling like things are moving too slow, feeling really stagnant. Um, these are things that could be coming from 2020 and they're being purged in 2021. They're being recognized, paid attention to. Somebody could have let this go. Um, the fact that they have these darker energies attached to them, um, but major healing for 2021. That's pretty beautiful. Okay, thank you, group number two. Um, best of luck for 2021. Lots and lots of love to you. Um, so let's move on to number three. Number three. Alright, group number three. Let's go in 2021. Just one moment. Okay, 2021 for group three. Alrighty. Ah, oh, you know, I always forget. 2021 for group three. One more. happening in 2021 for group three what's happening for those that chose number three two of wands okay yeah making the decision someone could be kind of at a crossroads they need to make a certain decision on which way to go where to take action where which way to move show me more um a decision's being made though show me more about 2021 for group number three three of cups oh okay Somebody could be in sort of like a love triangle thing. Someone could be needing to decide between two people. You could be, um, there could be someone that you're connected with that's making a decision about you. There's a third party situation here. Or there's three options that someone can take or two options. Show me more. About 2021 for group number three. Judgment. Yeah, someone's needing to make a decision. Um, someone's finally needing to make a decision, um, needing to decide who they're going to choose, what they're going to choose. This could be a crossroads when it comes to different passions and career paths, and soul missions, life paths, whatever. Um, but it also could be about people decisions about people and again you could be needing to make a decision you need to choose between two people or someone's needing to decide between you and another person there could be something with a karmic involved decisions being made in 2021 or a decision will be made for someone show me more about group three in 2021 uh, we have Sagittarius energy then we have the death card mmm okay we have Scorpio energy Okay, so there's something that's that's done, something that ends. Also, there's some purging going on in 2021. Show me. Can I have another card with this death card? I need a card with this death card. Ace of Cups. Okay. Yeah, so someone is um, going through some sort of ending or death energy so that they can um, come to the Ace of Cups here, which is an all new beginning, fresh new beginning when it comes to love and um, emotional fulfillment. Okay, so there could be something, even if there isn't a physical third party thing, there could be something where someone was choosing others over themselves too. Um, and someone decides that they can no longer do that. Also, there's a decision that someone's needing to make because someone is keeping them in a third party situation and they're needing to decide that the other person is, is 
gonna keep choosing the third party or something like that. Like someone needs to realize that um, they deserve better. Because this is like something where someone has been trying to like make something work where someone else has a third party or something like that. And it's time to decide to choose yourself and not um, choose someone else. Yeah, choose like put yourself over everyone else in this situation. That's what I want to say. Because there's this Ace of Cups here, there's this new beginning in love, new relationship, new... Even if it's not a new person, it's like an all-new relationship after the death energy. And it's because someone made a decision to leave something behind, cleanse something, and or decided to choose themselves. So that would be, you know, the death energy would be like somebody's egos died or somebody's like transformed like internally. Um, somebody's like self-love. Could, could be heightened right now. Somebody is like learning to love themselves unconditionally. And again, put themselves first. That could be a definite theme because I keep wanting to say that. For There is a new beginning in love though, but it's after someone finally releases something, decides decides to put themselves first. I don't know why that that's such a, that's so strong to me right now. So um, that's definitely a thing for someone. Someone's going to need to put themselves first and decide. Like, someone's only at a crossroads because they're not putting themselves first. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, or someone's at a crossroads in regards to you, and it's because they keep choosing a karmic partner. It could be something like that, too. Um, but either way, there's the decision to end something or to cleanse some them, someone. Ah, <laughs> I can't speak. To cleanse themselves of something, or you're deciding to cleanse yourself of something. So that you can have this new beginning in love. Okay, show me more about 2021, please. For group number three, show me more about 2021. For group number three. The Fool. Okay, yeah, a leap of faith in the right direction is what I want to say. Um, yeah, so someone's taking a leap of faith, jumping in a certain direction. You have quite. A, you have three major arcanas in your reading so far. We have a, this is Aquarius energy. Finally taking some sort of risk. There's also a risk that's being taken. There's a leap of faith. Someone's trusting the universe and just going for it. Um, there could be something where someone's going to be feeling kind of vulnerable. Definitely a lot of birds um, here in this reading. We've got birds here, birds here. We have, you know, a dead bird here, but we have a bird here too. Excuse me. Something about birds. Uh, that could be um, quite a spirit animal for you in 2021. There also is something, there could be something about taking flight too. And kind of being free of something, freeing yourself of something. Okay, show me more for group number three about 2021. Show me more about group number three for 2021. We have the Son of Wands, okay. Um, yeah, so then there's some really fast movement here. Show me more about the Son of Wands. There's some really fast movement in a certain direction. Four of Cups. Okay. Um, so, alright. So there's a lot, there could be a lot of uh, I want to say suitors, new suitors, there could be people that you're dating or someone's dating, someone's unhappy with the options, or there's someone that's very left very unhappy with the options that they're left with um, because somebody, like what, what I'm implying is that you left someone and then they're kind of left um, unhappy with their options with the Four of Cups. Like the this Four of Cups is indicating someone's really annoyed with their options, unhappy with their options, and they're thinking of another option. In this deck specifically, I say annoyed a lot because the mouse is indicating annoyance, um, or the rat or whatever. So it, like, it's like someone's really annoyed with their circumstances, but they're all over the place with the Son of Wands. Like they're in one, they're in one space in, at one time, and they're in another space at another time. They're kind of all over the place, unhappy with the options. Stuck thinking about um, options that they lost or that they don't have the opportunity to go towards anymore. 
Um, or someone's really annoyed with their options because somebody keeps like attracting like player-like energies or something like that or something like that. Also there could be something where someone um, is annoyed that you moved on too quick or something like that. I've said something like that so many times. <laughs> okay, so what's going to be the main theme for group number three? It's going to be um, some of the main themes for group number three in 2021. Nine of Cups, wishes coming true. Finally putting your desires first. And I, I know I keep saying that. Putting your wishes first, your desires first. That's going to be a huge theme. Also, there could be a lot of abundance involved this year, or a lot of dreams coming true, a lot of opportunities coming to you that you've wished for, that you never thought you'd get, something like that. Anything else for 2021 for group number three? Anything else for 2021 for group number three? Son of Swords, something is definitely going to be moving kind of fast. Um, it's going to feel kind of fast-paced, I suppose, in 2021. That's what I'm getting from this year. Okay, so thank you, group number three. We're going to move on to group number four. Best of luck with the year. Lots of love to you, as always. All right. Group number four. What is happening in 2021 for group number four? Oh, gosh. happening in 2021 for those that chose group number four. Ooh, it's happening in 2021. All right, we have the three of cups again. We have that in the group number three as well. Show me more about 2021 for group number four. Mmm, nine of swords. Show me more. There's over thinking about a third party. Show me more about 2021. Six of Cups. All right, so there's someone with a third party, but they, there's a soulmate. Um, there could be a lot of dreams about this person. Someone's kind of taunted by their dreams of a divine counterpart that's involved with a karmic. But there is a soul connection here. There is past life um, ties as well. Show me more, please. That's 2021 for group number four. Somebody's in some sort of energetic connection with someone. Yeah, the High Priestess. Someone's in an energetic connection with someone. So this is helping someone connect with their abilities stronger, though. So it's something to um, continue looking at, continue utilizing. Okay, it does cause a little bit of stress, though. A little bit of anxiety. There could be energies that you're taking on from a divine counterpart. Their anxiety, you're taking it on. I don't know, someone's anxious about a, th um, a divine counterpart that has is involved with a third party or something like that. Okay, so what other major themes does group number four have in 2021? The Magician, yeah, learning to utilize your abilities, learning to manifest, learning about energy. There, this, it could be a really um, powerful year for your spiritual awakening. Okay, show me more. It could be manifesting something specific. Accessing certain abilities is what I just heard. What else for group number four on 2021? We have the Two of Swords and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this is about defeating codependencies that someone has. Somebody can't see the light because they're still a little bit codependent. Someone will be seeing the light once they start to be more independent with their energy. Um, it could be with physical things, but it's feeling more energetic codependencies. Um, and if this is Twin Flame, there could be something where there's... There, there's like a chaser situation. Someone's being the chaser. Someone's experiencing is involved with a runner. Someone's needing to... Um, turn back to their own energy and it will it will all be made clear okay anything else for 2021 for group number four son of pentacles yeah it's going to take time there's there's patience that's needed for group number four with your divine connection i'm definitely feeling that um definitely going to need to be patient in your connection okay anything else for group number four is there anything else in group number four 
the Empress. Yep, connecting and accepting your divine feminine energy, focusing on the divine feminine energy right now. It will transfer and mirror onto your divine counterpart as well. Um, and then things will pick up. So thank you so much, group number four. Lots and lots of love to you. Um, if this resonated, best of luck with your situation. Best of luck with 2021. And again, lots and lots and lots of love to you. Bye.